Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today we look at Mr. New York City, 1946. His name is Victor Nicolette. He actually also uh, competed for the 1946 Mr. America, which Alan Stephen won, which I've already done a video on. Uh, it's a great article. We can see his classical proportions, posing with a spear, uh, doing a lot of twists and uh, other interesting poses. But um, what I like about this article is that it gives his routine, where he trains four times a week for three hours during each workout. It's very interesting to note this because... Now it's recommended that we all train 45 minutes to an hour because of science showing that your hormones drop and whatever. But prior to, the, uh, to all this scientific research, it was quite common for golden era bodybuilders to just train for two, three hours at a time. And as we all know, when the steroids began, they would increase this training to five to six hours a day and so they would train twice a day for two to three hours each time um, his workout is actually given towards the end of the magazine which I will go through and here it is I will zoom in for you so if you like to uh, print screen you can go for it Here's a routine. I've been asked to give routines. So here's a routine of Mr. New York City. What he does is the bent arm pullover, lying on, on his back on a stool or a bench. I'm assuming that is done with a barbell. And typically back then, these exercises are done either as a list so as, a, as literally as a what's called a circuit and then repeated two or three times or they can be done individually for, two to, uh, for three to four sets, 10 to 15 reps depending on whether you're working on strength or on cutting. Obviously strength requires less reps whereas uh, cutting up, refining the physique would require greater reps. So the bent arm pullover with the barbell on, on a bench is the first one. The supine press with dumbbells on a stool. Now a lot of people don't know what this actually might mean. The supine press is otherwise known back then as the chest as the chest bench press. It's, it's a chest exercise. It's the bench press. In this case it would be known nowadays as the dumbbell bench press. Seesaw with dumbbells is the next exercise. Now this is interesting. Seesaw with dumbbells is basically a standing, standing up, a standing alternating uh, dumbbell press for the shoulders where the palms face you at the bottom as you press overhead and rotate the palms so that they face forward while tipping the body to one side and then to the other as you um, alternate the pressing. So basically it's almost an alternating Arnold pr shoulder press. Arnold Schwarzenegger actually used to do these sitting down and that then it became known as the Arnold press. But prior to this it was known as the seesaw with dumbbells and it looks like a seesaw because you're actually pressing the Arnold way which is palms face you at the beginning and then as you press overhead they, the palms face away but as you press with one dumbbell overhead you tilt your body and so that your wrist is over your shoulders which is over your hips and then as you bring the dumbbell down you press the other one up and tilt to the other side now and so it looks like you're rocking back and forth as you press the dumbbells and it looks like it's a seesaw that's why it's called seesaw with dumbbells. The next exercise is curls, alternate, 
with dumbbells. So basically an alternating dumbbell curl. Lateral, side lateral uh, raises for the deltoids and necks. Alternating one arm at a time. So alternating lateral raises. Squats with a barbell is next. Note it says in various positions. So for full development, one would probably start with um, just normal hip width squats. To work the outer thigh, one would bring the knees and feet together or close together, closer together. To work the inner thighs and the vastus medialis, the teardrop muscle, one would bring the knees out and toes flared out. To work the thighs even more, one would do these exercises and their variations uh, with the heels elevated on a two inch uh, platform, etc. etc. It does say in various positions. Straddle jumps. Now, I'm assuming that the straddle is just uh, star jumps. I'm not too sure. I'm assuming that's what it is. Um, or kind of like lunges, I'm assuming. I'm not sure. Look it up on Google. I couldn't, I couldn't really find out what that was. Sit-ups and side bends and leg raising, which is all abdominal work. Uh, and finally, lateral, sorry, two more movements. Lateral raise on bench and pull over. Combined with dumbbells. Now, I'm assuming um, that what they mean here, because the, the lateral raise standing was actually, um, when they mentioned that, it would be known as the lateral raise for shoulders, would be literally a lateral raise for the delts. But lateral raises on a bench usually meant um, dumbbell flies, right? And it says here, and pullover, combined. So you would combine these. So you would do... In this case, uh, flies and then pullovers with the dumbbell. And finally, rowing motion with the barbell. So I'm assuming it would either be uh, a kind of a barbell row bent over or a T-bar row, but I'm not sure if the T-bar row was invented back then. From what I understand, the first person that ever performed a T-bar row is actually Dave Draper. He actually... Uh, uh, has, has mentioned that once in one of his articles or one of his books that I've read. Um, but anyway, it says here, uh, this is the routine for Mr. New York City, Victor Nicolette. Two thirds of the time of each workout is devoted to building up, developing and beautifying his upper body. And the remaining third of the time is given to improving the lower body. That's basically it. So I hope you've enjoyed this routine of Mr. New York City, Victor Nicolette. Um, note, please note that this is a full body workout. As I've mentioned in my videos in the past, back then the golden era bodybuilders like Steve Reeves, Reg Park, Clarence Ross, etc., Alan Stephen, all used to do full body workouts. And the reason is very simple. It has to do with the fact that if one does deadlifts, squats and bench presses, and maybe even overhead presses, which are all compound movements, multi-joint movements, these release a lot of testosterone in the body. Partnered with higher repetition uh, bodybuilding style exercises such as curls, um, flies, uh, rowing, um, uh, dumbbell pressing, etc. All kinds of higher rep dumbbell work. That actually causes growth hormone release. So the combination of both was rather supreme in building incredible mass. And it is well document, documented nowadays that the squat and deadlift produce the greatest amount of a growth spurt in the body. It is like a natural steroid. And so these guys would spend half of their workouts lifting enormous weights, squatting and deadlifting. And then 
after they do the big movements, they would work on the rest of their bodies. They would rest and repeat. This would be done about three times a week. Believe me, it is really hard. I do this kind of training myself and it absolutely destroys you. Try it and you'll see what I mean. Anyway, that's the uh, routine of Victor Nicolette, Mr. New York City 1946. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a like, thumbs up if you like it. Please subscribe and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.